Hello and welcome to the course Geographic Information Systems Online. I am your instructor. My name is Lisa Jordan. I'm Assistant Professor of Geography here at Florida State University. What, with this video I want to introduce you to the course, show you some of the basic requirements, and in subsequent videos I will go through the outline of the syllabus and talk about uh, additional requirements for the course. Um, my name is Lisa Jordan. You can reach me anytime in my office, uh, Bellamy 311. I'm here most weekdays. Uh, office hours, I'm available Tuesdays and Wednesdays, 9.30 to 10.30. And here's my office phone, 644-8386, and you can always email me. That's a good way to contact me. Before I get into anything else, I need to go over this critical announcement and course requirements. So this is very important. To participate in this course, you must have access to a PC, unfortunately, not a Mac or a Linux machine. You need a PC that will run the student version of ArcGIS software. So we introduce you to geographic information systems through a software, and this software currently only runs on PCs. So you, unfortunately you have to have a PC to take this course. So this is critical to check up front before the class begins. If you do not have the capability to run student version ArcGIS 9.3, you will not be able to complete the course requirements. Um, the student version of ArcGIS 9.3 is included in the required class textbooks, GIS tutorial workbook for ArcView 9. Uh, also, if you are enrolled in the MSGIS program, you need to take introductory GIS on campus in the geography department. So if you got in here by accident, please drop this course and take the on-campus course. All other graduate and undergraduate students, you're welcome to take this introduction to GIS online. All right. Uh, to further emphasize what you will need for the course is on here Amazon.com GIS tutorial workbook for ArcView 9. It's updated for ArcGIS 9.3. Here on Amazon it's $50. Uh, it's not, I believe, not in the bookstore. I apologize for this. Uh, if you order soon, you should have your book by next week. I've posted the first chapter of this book for next week in case you don't get it uh, by next week. I also have copies of the student version of the software, so if you're able to make it to my office, I can give you a copy of this if you want to get started on anything ahead of time. But for this first week, we're just doing basics um, introductions. So uh, you don't have to worry about it, but please uh, get on uh, track with this to get a book as soon as possible. So here I am. This is my website, uh, Lisa Jordan. I've taught at Florida State University. This is my fifth year. Uh, my main areas of interest and in research are in health, geography, and geographic information systems. I have some examples of projects I've done related with this. Uh, Population Explorer, it's a web GIS for the USAID's famine early warning systems. I've worked with some nice folks in Kenya on this project. Uh, my friend Kleena Raleigh and I have been working, continuing to publish on the social dimensions of climate change, and I bring the strength of GIS analysis into that work. I've also worked on issues in environmental justice in Tallahassee, and I'm very interested and a big advocate for using GIS, GPS, and virtual globes in the classroom. So that's a little bit about who I am, and I look forward to learning a little bit about each of you. In the Blackboard course, you'll find the syllabus, you'll find the course library, readings for each week, and you'll have assignments each week posted here. Your first assignment is to introduce yourself and become familiar with your cyber classmates. This is due next week. And so I look forward to seeing you and maybe hopefully some pictures of you if you're, um, if you're willing to post them. I'm looking forward to a good semester. I love this course. This is now the second time that I will be teaching online and I'm glad to have you here.